hey and welcome back to my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so in the studio today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I transformed this chest of drawer here and also this end table so these are some clients that previously bought a piece from me and then they wanted me to redo these two pieces luckily there was not a lot of damage going on here I mean there were a couple scratches and dings but those are pretty easy fixes but other than that this piece is pretty solid so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial all right so first things first of course I am going to be cleaning off these pieces so honestly these are coming from my a clients home so I know that they're not gonna be as dirty as if I'm getting this from like a garage sale the thrift store or anything like that that so I'm just doing like a light little cleaning with this so that I can get it prepped for everything else that I'm going to do and then I am going to remove the knobs or hardware with my power drill now I'm just going to take my putty and I'm going to putty up any imperfections so any of the scratches any of the dings I'm going to fill those in and then after I fill those in I am going to sand down this whole piece Okay, so before we move on, I just wanna to talk to you real fast about the fact that this is a laminate piece. So when you are dealing with a laminate piece, there are more steps that you have to take. And so one of those steps is sanding. So you wanna make sure that you're sanding the whole piece first um, I would stick with a 220 and like between 180 and 220 grit sandpaper so right now I'm just using a 220 and I would definitely make sure that I mean if you wanted to go a little bit quicker to get you an electrical sander um, but right now I'm just using my little man my little palm manual sander but I'm going to sand down this whole piece and I'm just gonna rough in make sure I roughen it up a little bit and then I'm going to wipe it down okay so the next thing that you have to do when dealing with laminate is after you have sanded it down you you are going to have to prime it to make sure that your paint is going to adhere that is why you're doing the sanding and also the priming of the piece because with laminate it's really difficult to get your paint to just stick when you just paint with it just straight on so you want to make sure you sand it first and then you're going to prime it so i'm just using the zinzer primer i usually just let it sit for a full day and then i come back and i paint another quick thing so i am using my critter sprayer i love to use this critter sprayer right now it is a lot of overspray but it's only a lot of overspray right now because i actually it's just a little too much pressure so when you're doing this you want to keep it between like maybe um 60 and 90 when you are using your critter sprayer with your compressor now I'm gonna to start to paint this piece. Everything is nice and dry. And if you wanna make sure that your paint is adhering to your piece, all you have to do is do what I call the scratch test. And all that is is basically taking your finger and just scratching your piece. And if the paint comes off, then I would just recommend maybe waiting another day because sometimes that does help if you may wait like a day or two if you don't wanna like redo everything. Um, and if it doesn't come off, then you're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna start blending and I'm gonna be blending the color cashew with this gray because the previous piece that they brought from me is the color cashew and she wanted to incorporate that into this piece too. So it wouldn't clash too much. I decided to kind of blend everything together. So I'm gonna add the cashew in the middle and then I'm just going to blend that in with my gray. And I did that to the front of the drawers and the side of the piece. So now I'm just gonna paint my sides. I'm painting it that gray. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna do that same blend with the cashew in the middle. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my grays. Another thing that was a little difficult about this piece is I could not, for the life of me, take the drawers out. I tried to Google and everything on how to take these drawers out and I could not take the drawers out. So if you're wondering why is she painting with the drawers in, and especially getting in like these little little side pieces and stuff, it was very difficult because I could not take the drawers out. So I had to keep switching in between like medium and the very small size brushes. The next step is planking, which is my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to plank the top of this chest drawer and also the side drawer. So what I'm doing now is I am just measuring out where I need to cut onto my miter saw. And I'm pretty sure that the board size is like a one by four. So I'm going to get my cuts done on my miter saw and then I'm going to place them on the top to make sure that they're all nice and even and there's no warped pieces because sometimes I pick pieces out and I'm like literally looking 
at the pieces in the store, like holding it up and everything, making sure it's not warped. And then it come back, then I come back home and then it's like warped a little bit and I get so upset. But anyways, that's what happens when you're dealing with wood. So now I'm just going to take my electric sander and I'm going to round out my sides and just sand smooth the tops of each of these pieces. And then after that, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stain this and I'm using the color dark walnut to stain these boards. Okay, so the next step was planking this wood to the tops, of course. So if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to actually plank wood and everything like that, what you need and how to look and search for your wood and all that stuff, I am going to be having a video on that, but that's going to be on my membership site. So if you aren't a part of that, you can check it out down below. I will be having exclusive content, especially for refinishing furniture on different topics that are going to just be in-depth tutorials. So make sure you check that out. But for this, all I'm going to do is just nail these wood boards to the top. So the hardware I got off of Amazon, and honestly, it didn't have the best of reviews, and I'm a person that is all about reviews, but I was like, I'm gonna give them a shot. So I purchased these, and the reviews are right. These are not really, they're not good at all. <laughs> it doesn't get tight. Something is something with the screws is really weird, and I even tried different screws, and it still didn't like tighten like it should. Um, so instead of using the little round, the little, I can't even think of the round little piece that you see down at the bottom. I'm just using the plate part that I'm kind of just adding rub and buff on right now. So she wanted silver hardware. So I'm gonna add these plates to the back, but then I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some clear hardware and I added that to the front and screwed them on real tight and it worked out fine. The moment we've all been waiting for, it is the reveal. So I am loving how everything came together so how we have the cooler colors in the body and then we have the darker kind of contrasting wood at the top with the dark walnut I love the clear knobs that I picked out from Hobby Lobby and I'm glad that I spotted them they just are the perfect touch to this piece the most important thing is that my clients love this so I think this is a step up from what it was before I just love the difference in what it looks like now it looks like it was never a laminate piece also the body I sealed it with wax and then the top I used a polyurethane if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think again if you want to be a part of that membership site make sure you click on the link down below so you can check it out the first video that will be up will be how to plank it's just going to be a really in-depth tutorial about how you do that and then again i'll have other ones um, where there's anything from painting to sanding to stripping and all that stuff it's just going to be very detailed so if you're interested in that there will be a link down below for you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye.